Hey everyone, it's that time again. Vlog time. Uh, I have some things I need to do. So, um, I'm just gonna put this out there that I'm not going to try to do this in less than 15 minutes. Instead, I am going to split this into, I think, three different videos. So you can, um, choose which topic you want to do. And, uh, I'm also gonna, I don't know if you noticed on one of my videos, uh, I put annotations so you can pick which, uh, subject you want to look at. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Pretty much I'm just borrowing someone else's idea. I'm not stealing it. I'm just borrowing it because it just it was a good idea. Sorry. So uh today is the last day of February and uh, uh I'm not gonna expound on uh, what February is to people. I'm gonna put that in the next video. So um I'm gonna start with something easy. Uh, first, uh, I want to shortly talk about something that I forgot to put in the last vlog, which was Jin Akinishi and, um, uh, Isa Kuraki's, uh, marriage. Um, if you follow, I guess, Arama, they didn't, on LiveJournal, or you're a J-pop fan, then you know that a lot of, uh, J-pop artists have been getting married left and right from um, Ayumi Hamasaki's uh, Las Vegas marriage and now her divorce and that she wasn't really registered uh, that she was married in Japan which is kind of funny I'm not a Ayumi Hamasaki fan but you probably already know that because I put that in um, one of my lists and of course uh, Kodakumi and uh, Kinjiho from back on which is awesome so I'm looking forward to uh, birth of their kid and they're seeing wedding pictures if they're put up because she's gorgeous and he's an awesome dude. Um, so I guess the last big one is you know Jen and Misa and I did not know that Misa had so many haters. Oh my god, there's so much hate. <laughs> I, I kind of skimmed through the comments and I'm more of a Misa fan than a Jin fan. Uh, I only liked him and was infatuated with him when I first saw um, Goku-san uh, season one, and even then it was short-lived. I thought he was like, you know, kind of good looking, but I was like, you know, I like Kami more. And I didn't really like Katoon. I like Katoon a little bit more now, and I'm still a Kami fan, but I like Koki too, and she's not that bad. I just like everybody else more than Jin, mostly, because Jin's kind of blah, and his uh, American ventures are kind of meh, and uh, I don't get it, but whatever, and I did tell myself that I was going to go see him live again when he tours America, but he's like not going anywhere in the States, so I guess too bad. It's okay, I don't really like his new music that much, uh, and I got to see what he did last time he did a tour, the songs were okay, I guess. Um, Anyway, I don't really like their union because I think uh, Misa could do better. <laughs> and I was glad to see that people felt that same way, that she could do better. And then there was, there's some people that are comparing this to like, they think this whole uh, story is like a fanfic because there's just so much drama. Like Jen is in trouble with uh, Papa Johnny and Misa might be in trouble, I don't know. And her sales for her last album are really low. I, I don't know. I haven't listened to the album yet. Um, then the whole whether she's pregnant or not, we're just assuming that she is. And now that Jin cut in line from the rumor of Jin cut in line for the whole marriage approval thing, and uh, former cartoon, oh, not former cartoon, the current cartoon members commenting on the marriage. The winner was Koki because, I mean, he thought he did him stupid. Whether that's true or rumor, I, I don't know the whole situation between Jin and Kami and Koki, so, um, because I'm not a big cartoon fan. I mean, when I was actually following a Johnny's group, it was Irashi. <laughs> Sad to say. And, um, I don't know. I hardly listen to either one of them. Well, actually, I listen to more Katoon than Arashi now. So, um, anyway, now there's this, uh, 
rumor of Mrs. Baby not being chins. <laughs> It's just a big giant mess, and Misa just has terrible taste in men from, men from what I've read who she's been messing with, so, or rumored to be messing with. I, I don't know. I don't really keep up with her personal life. All I see is, oh, she's doing this product endorsement, or she's releasing this single or whatever, album or whatever. I, I don't really closely um, follow her either. So, moving on from that, because I don't really have much to say to make it worth the one whole video, I want you to talk about the fan wars. Because those are ridiculous. The last one I looked at was uh, Ichi and, or 12012, and uh, during Grain. But I guess I'll start from the beginning with this, the. Despair's Ray slash Karyu fans and the Angelo Kirito fans. Um, ever since Kiru and Karyu joined uh, Angelo and then Feather was released, I got through these dumb comments of there's not enough Karyu time. Uh, Kirito is such a diva, he's so selfish, he won't give Kiru time and um, Karyu time and I agree with the people who said it's not it's not Despair's Ray. Stop complaining about Kirito's voice. It's Angelo. This is his band. This is not Despair's Ray. This he is not his image. We know this, okay? Get over it. And this isn't the Karyu show. This is Angelo. They're a band. And you have to expect that Karyu's going to get more face time than everybody else because it's just logic. Vocalists get more face time. So stop complaining. So, when Calvary was released, the PV, I promised myself not to look at the comments when it got moved to YouTube, and I didn't, and I'm happy, because <laughs> I'm assuming it was going to be the same crap over again, but it seemed like uh, people, at least on Last FM, seem uh, more content with the music, and I'm, I agree. I liked it more than Feather. It sounds like they figured out what sounds mesh together that sounds like them. But um, you can read what I said on uh, my uh, music video Rex because I put that as one of them. So, Kari fans, Spurs Ray fans, just get over yourself. This is Angelo. They've been around for you know a few years without Kari. So, if you want to whine and complain. Go get off of Angelo's pages and just go cling on to your Despair's Ray. I'm not hating on either on Despair's Ray because I'm a Despair's Ray fan. And you should know that from my blog. But I've been a Piro fan longer than I have been a Despair's Ray fan. So, and even if it was the other way around, I'm pretty sure I would still feel the same way. Um... Anyway, uh, then there's the whole Block B Thailand controversy of them being um, disrespectful on an interview, and I've heard lots of things like, oh, well, we know, they, they apologized, which was good, and then I've heard that there was mistranslations places, and then it's partially the media's fault. The, you know, these mistranslations happened and stuff, but, I mean, nonetheless, they didn't act appropriately to the situation. Uh, they were commenting on the uh, flood in Thailand. So, I mean, I watched the apology video, and they seem very sincere. And I think this is the first time I've ever seen an apology video from a group. Usually, if someone in a K-pop group is apologizing to some for something they do not I never seen a video. They always just like type it or something. Like I went and looked up uh, something about SNSD because someone left a stupid comment on my Jenny uh, video, which I'll probably talk about later. Um, and I don't. There was no video apologizing about the comment that was made. Um, it was just you know text form, like most people. So. They seem very sincere, and Zico even uh, shaved his head, and is, you know, 
reverence of apology and stuff and I'm like everything should be cool but then I heard that there are petitions wanting them to just die and that's just awful because they're like younger than me and I don't get that that's just so much so much hate I'm like get off their case they apologize they keep apologizing and apologizing and you still just want them to die off so you Citizens and fans need to just chill, but I think Block B should just stay out of the, the spotlight for a while until this cools off, so people would stop, you know, pressuring them, especially because, and I at least take a hiatus, especially because P.O. is not doing so well, uh, he went to the hospital because of stress. I can't imagine that. I mean, they already have, like, horrible, uh, I've heard they have a high suicide rate in South, in Korea, South Korea, I'm assuming. So, this does not help, especially if you're, like, younger, your mind is more, is more vulnerable to things like that. But they need to get off their case, especially the, the stupid 2PM fans, because, I mean, I, I know Nick Kuhn said some something just uh, around the same extent of what happened with them and nobody, I don't think anybody made any petition for him to go die, to go kill himself. It's crazy. And I think it's just the whole hierarchy thing because I know Block B is here and 2PM is here and I actually I like Block B more than 2PM. I think I save my thoughts on 2PM. but um. So I skimmed and saw that there's so much fighting from 2PM fans on Block B videos. It's just sad. And I need to quit. I mean, this is just ridiculous, okay? I mean, I don't want to see this mess going on for any, any longer. I mean, weeks and months. I mean, this is... Stop. But Block B needs to take a hiatus for sure. Let this cool off. I mean, I don't think there's anything else they can do. Because, I mean, they apologize and apologize and their stupid netizens or whatever. Just keep bashing them and bashing them and bashing them. And they don't really care that P.O. is in the hospital. They just want to run them into the ground until they are, you know, gone or dead or something. And this is not cool. And I've... I've come across news articles where so and so committed suicide or something. So, and I don't want to see that for them because they're so young. So, people get over yourself. So, I, I don't know. I hate it. So, um, block B fighting, I guess. I, I still support them and I do believe that they're sincere, but. Anti fans, uh, netizens, 2pm fans, they just really need to stop. And Block B fans too. And the media, stop making this bigger than it really is. Because, I mean, I know it, what they said was offensive. Whatever. Hoping that this is a good translation. And, uh, yeah. Also, to help these little controversial fight whatever things don't take all k-pop so seriously i hardly use it for like news things honestly even though i have a feed to it on my facebook i hardly use it for any like news because a lot of the stuff that they say is so stupid they to me they are on the the quality level of a tabloid for me a gossip rag. I mean, because most of the stuff on there is so stupid, and it's like America, like, oh, you know, Nick Coon bought some potato chips. Oh, good for him. Or, I don't know, this person gained weight. Who cares? But yeah, I only I mean, I use it for, you know, releases. Those are nice. But as for, like, actual news news, it's kind of hard to, like, really trust them with that, because they're I don't know, they're so iffy about it, and they even apologize about that. So, I'm gonna make the next part, so please keep watching.